come spin the third and the fourth with us. That means. I don't know how well you can see him, but the dog is hiding under the bench in our garage because he's scared. I like how you're trying, like acting like you're half. You're being mean. Peter will be on us. I'm not being mean. I feel bad. <laughs> Why? Because you always kick line. You do it to this song. What's the name of that girl band? That ACDC girl band? Hell's Bells. Huh? Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells, yeah. Go back to what you were doing before. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is not what you were doing before. <laughs> hey vlog, she's drunk. Mm -hmm. We should have brought the Tahoe down and parked it on. So, uh, Night Night has turned into a softball. The skin came yeah, off it a while ago, but that is uh, the remaining interior. I threw and the away. piece in his mouth. Yeah, and Megan's already throwing some away in there's some yard. Talk about dropping the ball. The parade starts in like 10 minutes and they don't have the fireworks stand open. You could totally go shop for fireworks while you waited. But, yeah, that's very odd. I figured it'd be open at about 9. Because I feel like anybody that's already here would be like, Oh yeah, hey, swing in, grab some fireworks while I wait. Because I've got 10, 15 minutes till the parade starts. And then people come into set up that are in the parade too could have been here even earlier to grab some that makes it even worse they must be camping right by it so they're actually living directly next to it and still don't have it open for when you have pretty much the most foot foot traffic you're gonna have i guess when people are leaving the parade too but i'd way rather get it over with right now if i was gonna buy some from them or before or after the thing we're getting ready to leave for the parade. Mason's excited. There's so many people for this parade. You know why? Because it's an election. Oh, yeah. There's Harrison House of Center Lane. Slow down a little bit, I maybe. Know. Like, I feel like I'm way We're up a little ways. That's sort of funny because I never really went anywhere besides where we watched the parade from at the starting spot. And I'm going down Lexington here, the one that's Lexington, Ka, and Maine. And I saw when I went over the highway off to the side, there's one of those big blinking signs. And it's talking about the exit being closed. And I'm thinking for a second that, like, why would that be closed? Then you think about it the parade goes by that exit <laughs> and I never even thought about that really imagine that as a tourist I mean I guess it is the 4th of July so you should expect some weirdness with parades and stuff like that but to be staying at a hotel there and be planning on getting here at noon to be able to go to your hotel <laughs> and then see that it's you're just kind of at that point wondering what you do and you should drive on past and then even just go to the next exit and then let your mapping reroute you and then all of a sudden it starts getting you back there and you see road closed <laughs> uh that'd be kind of interesting and most people nowadays would have no idea how to find their way there just i guess wing it but google it keep trying to kick you back to harrison for sure i'm actually mildly excited to see the end of the parade because i just passed the that big town pump truck with the pup and I'm wondering if, like, when they get to the end, if they just peel off and go where, like, you know, it's, if they just, you know, get there and then someone's like, ah, yeah, they're at the end, turn right, left, go wherever you feel like it. I wonder if that's what they do. Because, I mean, obviously, because that's the only thing I've seen from the parade, so obviously they don't have a designated route because otherwise you would see way more but yeah that's just kind of kind of intriguing it kind of looks like it because there's a couple parked that way some are going that way it appears as though some are going the other way 
This is kind of fascinating. This is kind of intriguing. It kind of feels like it's just, you kind of do whatever you feel like. But then you gotta think, like that thing you're driving home. Well, you would assume. It's definitely extra interesting, because unless they have a bus down here, or probably two, what are they gonna do? <laughs> it looks like they're just heading, continuing off that way. Yeah, I know the Tech alumni are using two of the 15 passenger vans they have over there to drive the people back up to campus. So that's kinda, that explains at least some of it. This is turf. I'm a little surprised by that, it's kinda neat though. So ridiculous, they're coming into traffic. These people are just blending in with the people trying to get done with the parade. And it's like you got Tester down there rallying his group, which is kind of funny and messy. And I don't know what their deal is, but they're trying to get back out when they're... There's a road close sign down there, so I have no idea what they're doing or how they got there. Unless they were parked there, but then you think they were here for the parade. I'll say something nice about a cop, like that poor guy's got to deal with that people doing that dumb shit. This is also kind of crazy too, how strung out some of it gets. Cause that is quite the gap. They're trying to leave Megan behind. Megan, watch out. Oh yeah, there we go. Bucket yeah. works on. See how much water's already out of here. So I blew this up with like a firecracker with water, like put water in it and put a firecracker in it. And it's like very symmetrical the way it broke. Nathan just goes, oh my, what did you do? I tried to write my initials. I taught her how to write with a smoke bomb. But I did that one a little too fast, so I only got the B, and then it, Matt yelled at me when I tried to pick it up. Well, once you knocked it out of your hand, if you tried to grab it again, and the part that's spewing was pointed at your hand, you'd have thrown the shit out of yourself. And uh, apparently that's what they look like when you stomp on them. In front of what? You're trying to light one right. That was awesome. Okay, Megan's watching a punk brand. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, hold on. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Megan's about to cry about holding a Roman candle. I know, but you're like, oh god. Uh. Nathan was just double fist in him a minute ago. Nathan's all excited he gets to keep the emoji smiley face thing because it didn't melt down this time. And he's got a little dinosaur thing oh, over here, a dragon thing like over here. You gotta, you gotta wet. You gotta be and then we're doing a couple there. tanks that he gets to keep, so he's getting some, some stuff out of this. So we got these sparklers, they're really hardcore. Look at the size of the metal rods in them. A lighter wouldn't light them. I had to grab a propane torch. Did you show the sparklers? Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.